Do you remember Snoop from last week? Well, this is his second lesson. I mean, ignore the snortiness, he's very grunty. But look how beautiful he's walking on the lead. We're trying a collar on him today. He did all right on the harness last week, but if you follow me face, you know I hate harnesses. So we put the, the two on just to see which one we prefer. Look how good he's doing. He's on a martingale collar. So we're on the road and Snoop has decided he doesn't bother walking with the traffic, but when she's waiting to cross, he gets a bit giddy. So you got tension there, so break that so there's no tension. Short flip, shorter. That's it, you've got to make sure the lead's nice and relaxed. That's it. Correct that, because he's pulling. Any tension at all, you're correcting. Correction. Snap again, that's it. Good. Put him to the side if you don't let him wait in front of you. So correct and relax, you're getting into your draggy bit again. So be aware, it's a, it's a quick flick and then relax again. Both cars, so, behind us now, so, so let's see, yeah, we're purposely waiting in the middle, correct, because he stepped forward, correct again, because you're stepped forward then, so you step slightly back a touch, that's it, correct him, because he's got a straight lead, so we've got traffic each side now, which is what we want, and he has to just learn, just be calm, correct, I mean, that correction's so weak, but he's responded even to that. That's it. Correct, then relax. Don't forget to relax. That's it. Lead loose. Correct, don't drag, correct, that's it. His head's watching them all go fast. So this is what Snoop thinks to Graham Hall. So he's not, <laughs> he's not particularly keen, is he? So just keep that pointed at the door. He went there and then he's like, oh no, she's going to follow me. <laughs> yeah. So I've used my body, now I'm introducing just a sound, it doesn't matter what, so that you don't have to keep getting up every two minutes. <laughs> you can address all that super heavy breathing. Yeah. Look at his fur, he's got his fur. Now don't nurture him in that, because he's... <laughs> so we don't address that. <laughs> it. So now he's working out. Mm. Yeah. 
goosed. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> So he reacts to the dog, yet he doesn't react to dogs in real life outside, he looks at an island, and he reacts to Graham's voice. Well, maybe Graham is reacting to <laughs> So you see how we, how we go around the beanie bag? I come this way, so I'm not following him, we're not dancing, I'm just stopping, because I know he's going to come back this way. Is this, has he not done this before? <laughs> So grunty. Yeah. So if he does anything, just you try your voice first. Walk in front, don't use his name, his name's only a, um, in a positive. Walk in front of him, right in front, very assertively. Move forward, move into him, that's it. As soon as he moves away, then you can stop following him. So now we've got a dog barking on TV, which, would that normally have triggered him? And instead he's got his tie and he's lying down. Doing a, doing a bit of door exercises. So get ready to block with your legs. He's going to go around the back of you. Walk into him slightly like you did in the line. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. You open the door. There, go again. That's it. Keep going. 